So the red wave did not happen. I want to talk to you a little bit about that. Some of the things that have come out today have been interesting. And I think it's a harbinger of what is coming. New era starts today. It's a mess, and I'm not really sure. Normally, when you do content creation, you should say, this is what I think. I'm more like, eh, I don't know. But I do want to hear what y'all have to say. I want to talk to you a little bit about the red wave that didn't happen. Buckle up. Here we go. Today's episode is brought to you by CMMG. Y'all know I love them. Today, I want to talk to you about wait times. When they first jumped on board to help out with what's going on here, the wait times were out of control. The whole industry was like that. Y'all know what things were like back then. Today, things are what I'm going to call reasonable down where they need to be. I don't know what they are exactly today, but I heard last week and they were really, really good. So jump over there. You don't have to wait long at all anymore. You can go pick one out. Pick out your size, your caliber, and your color when you head over to CMMG. You know what? You won't wait long. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Also, I am headed to the USCCA tomorrow on Thursday. So come see me. It's the USCCA Expo. It's in Fort Worth. It's all weekend long. Check. I'll be there the whole time. Check my Instagram at Johnny Appalachia. And I'm going to do some booth appearances, I think. And I'll just kind of keep y'all up to date. But I can't wait to see y'all. See you in Fort Worth this weekend. It's going to be awesome. Pretty pumped about that. $8 sale is crushing. It's, it's, it's wild. So it's still going on. All right. All of the housekeeping is over. All right. The red wave did not happen. Here is where we are at. I am shocked. I am shocked that Fetterman is headed into office as a senator cannot put a sentence together. Part of me is shocked. The other part is GOP in Pennsylvania is, is Dr. Oz, who is a charlatan. He is a charlatan. We're not arguing about that. Complete scam. Do 10 minutes of homework online and you'll see that. That's the best that they could put up against him. You have a Neanderthal who cannot talk. I don't know. It's, it's baffling. It's absolutely baffling. Number two, they said it was going to be a red wave. It didn't happen. And I think for me, where I'm at is it's making me wonder if things have changed drastically in the GOP party. It used to be, and it wasn't that long ago, the team man could come in and sprinkle his magic and people would vote like wild, but it did not go well for his picks yesterday at all. Like, not at all. He did well in the primaries. His people did fine in the primaries. In the general election, they did not do well at all. I think, I think the chapter has, 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 uh, has the page has turned. New chapter, new era. Three. Some articles are saying that, that old Ronnie D in Florida is the new face of the GOP. I think so. I think that's where we are at. Uh, I, 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 I sit here today just really, really, I've been watching it. I don't have any notes or anything, if you can't tell. But I'm at the point now where just wondering, has, has, has the ship sailed on the MAGA movement? Is it the kiss of death? To be, to be sponsored and get a thumbs up from the MAGA train. I don't know. I really hope he doesn't run. I really, really, really hope he doesn't run in 24 because I think that would be a disaster waiting to happen. The other part is a lot of people are running around going, ah, everything was stolen, all elections were stolen. Well, we do know that suddenly in the middle of the night they can find 100,000 votes if they want to. And we know that dead people vote at a pretty high rate for the DNC. But assuming that all things were fair, it didn't happen. I think they're all criminals regardless, so it's not like anything's going to change in our day-to-day -day lives. We do need some tempering of the Biden policies because they're bad, and we're all feeling it. The easy one is to say we're feeling it at the gas pump. We're feeling it all over the place. We are feeling it all over the place. And instead of dealing with real issues, he's having, he's having uh, people who have mental illnesses coming to the White House to visit. So that's where I'm at. I'm sitting here wondering, is the T-train is the coming to a close? Who's the new face of the party? Is that the best that we could run in Pennsylvania? And what a complete disaster show yesterday was. Complete and utter train wreck. Where are you? Let me know right down below. See y'all this weekend. Bye.